Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Soars here today. And I assure you that doesn't mean I've been over here engaging in like random sexual encounters. That's the name of the title. Or S-O-R-S -S if you want to use the acronyms instead. But you know, all jokes aside, what is Soars all about, Falcon? I'm glad you're asking. Um, this right here is kind of like a really interesting dystopian type of future game where what we are doing here is, you know, treating patients as they come in, we're supposed to figure out if they have any sort of like diabetes, they have cancers, tumors, things of that nature. It kind of plays out a little bit like, say, Trauma Center. You will be just kind of figuring out what they have and prescribing medication for it or, you know, a change in lifestyle, things of that nature. But in the background of all these things happening, there's kind of like this really weird, like, mystery afoot as well where who you're working for might not be who they seem to be as well because you'll start getting some like really weird emails letting you know that hey there's something weird here but that's where the game kind of starts off and gives you a mystery aspect to it let's get into the game at least show you how the gameplay works out over here so we'll go into new game um that's quite all right let's go into uh, into this so like difficulty you may change the difficulty normal sounds fine to me so we have loading source system enter name to log in we go with the old falcon First time login detected, please answer security question to proceed. A murderer, bleeding to dead. Save or leave? Well, you know, I'm a doctor, so I have no choice but to save him, you know. The law could then take it into its own hand afterwards. Um, hi Falcon, welcome doctor. We're always thrilled to have a new recruit. This is your email screen. All of your emails are sent here. Press escape on any screen to view the options menu. Right, okay. Thanks a lot for that. You're the newest recruit, so I'll give you a chance. Finish your training quickly. We need to talk. Bad things are happening here. And that's what I meant about the whole, um, you know, right off the bat. There's multiple endings to this game, so I have to imagine that based on decisions that you make and, you know, people that you save or decide not to save, there could be, you know, repercussions, so just keep that in mind. So that's going to be here our dude. We have Drakar, Drakar.net. It's quite a fancy email you got going on over there. And we have, um, welcome! Here is one of our co-workers. Dear Falcon, congratulations on your new post, and welcome to the facility. I'm your assigned mentor. Once you're familiar with the email system, you can start to see your first patients, actually. They're volunteers we use for training. When you're ready, click on the Go to Diagnosis Guide button below to view the Diagnosis Guide, which tells you how to diagnose diseases and what to look out for. Right. And I'll kind of go over that here with us, so let's just go forward. Let's go into Diagnosis Guide. So early on, don't expect us to do, since we're over here starting the game, don't expect to see any too crazy diagnosis things happening. This will give you a little bit of a rundown in terms of what you're going to be seeing down the line. So I think we'll start off with like diabetes or something. But as the game progresses, you'll get like even more, much more difficult things to diagnose. So um, just keep that in mind, that happens later on. Early on, we're just training us and giving us a rundown here. So let's go ahead and see our patients. Now for diseases, if I wanted to do that... Where would I go, general tips? Well, I guess it'll do it over here. As a matter of fact, I don't think you start off with um, diabetes straight off. I think it just teaches you about how to scan, if I'm right. And then it teaches you about diagnosing diabetes over here. So as you can see, it's kind of like, it has like this whole weird, futuristic, dystopian type of look. And then the earth down below looks just completely like, you know, abandoned now. Alrighty, so we have to see one patient here today. This will teach us about how to like, you know, reel him in. And reel them back out. So, right now we are going to see space to see our first patient over here. Alrighty. So all we have to do is right now is learn how to move them in and out. So once you're done either diagnosing or misdiagnosing whatever patch you go with over here, all you have to do is to just hit D for discharge and bye bye my friend. I'll see you later. So I'm gonna try to like speed through this a little bit to get us into the whole diabetes thing and show you more of the advanced gameplay over here. Alrighty, hi. Hopefully you found that easy. As I said, we'll be talking mostly by email. This facility deals with some highly infectious diseases, so contact between people is severely limited, which alone sounds kind of like a really weird, you know, like something's happening over here, right? Anyway, back to seeing patients. Look at the observations part of the patient console to see notes that the nurses put. Prescribe lifestyle advice to anyone who needs it. This could be for smokers, heavy drinkers, overweight people, or people who may be lonely or stressed out. To select lifestyle advice, enter the number for the condition and press enter. Okay. So, this one... This is the one we got last time, right? Yeah. So over here we have official welcome email. Welcome to the Source Division. Source is a new scanning technology which can help identify certain conditions non-invasively. 
which means an easier and quicker diagnosis. The technology works by shining light into the body, then monitoring light reflected at certain wavelengths, which indicates the level of certain minerals. Data leak. Dear Aw, another coworker of mine, is going to be Jay King. Unfortunately, our system was hacked recently, and it looks like some parts of the system were compromised. We don't know the full extent of the damage, but we are working full time to fix the leak. Please bear with us. Kind regards, Jay King. Accuracy. Uh, from now on, you'll also be measured for accuracy and preparation for the strict government targets this hospital has. So, um, when you go in there to kind of like look after some patients, it'll give you like, you know, you have to get like 60%, 70%, 75% correct of the patients coming in. Otherwise, you fail. Um, so, this will tell us about lifestyle advice. You know, if they smoke, you might tell them, hey, stop smoking, dude. If they drink heavily, don't drink so much. And if, you know, you don't socialize too much or you're stressed out, hey, go talk to somebody about that. You know, just basic lifestyle advice prescriptions. Uh, none of these are going to be um, disease-wise just yet, but down the line they will be. So let's go into seeing our patients over here really quickly. There's a lot more reading to be done, obviously, but I'm trying to get some more of the gameplay out here for you. So, you know, you at least, we at least get to the point of we see diabetes at the very least here. Um, okay, so welcome, doctor. We have to see three patients today and our required accuracy is going to be 50%. So let's go ahead and see our first patient here. And some of these, by the way, down the line are going to be timed. So you are supposed to, like, you know, you can't just take, you know, the entire day with only one patient here. You'll have to do, like, a significant amount of patients in a lot of time. And if you don't do that, you also fail. But that's down the line. So right now we have Roselle Player, 38 years old, female. She's a professor. Smokes one per day. I'm not sure if that's one cigarette or one pack. If it's one pack, that's pretty terrible. If it's probably one cigarette, you know... I've indulged myself in the past with cigarettes as well, so maybe one per day. I can't see it being healthy, but it's not as bad as probably one pack. Anyway, since she does apparently smoke, I think we're going to say, hey, stop doing that. So we're going to go into lifestyle advice, which is going to be number one. So the condition has now been selected, which is lifestyle advice. And we're going to tell her to, we're going to head P to prescribe her to stop smoking. And that should just be good enough right there. And she's off and running. Alright, here we have Myrel Eddings, 51, female psychiatrist, admits to smoking heavily. So I'm going to also give her some lifestyle advice to stop smoking so heavily. I mean, I do it myself on occasion, but it's only when I've had like a long night of drinking excessively. And, you know, let's be honest here that smoke when you're really out of your mind drunk, it's kind of really like, you know calming and soothing but anyway um we have terence leclerc 83 years old male technical writer and he has liver pains well uh unfortunately we cannot prescribe anything to that because all we're doing is lifestyle advice right now so we're gonna just go ahead and discharge him because we can't tell him hey stop having liver pains you know so we got three targets oh we actually failed one Now, I wonder if that... That was probably the last dude right now. Hmm. Huh, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that had anything to do with the fact that... Maybe the person was a drinker? That could have been a possibility why maybe the liver would be hurting, huh? Well, I don't know. I blame the nurse on that one. You gotta give me some clearer notes over here. Did you find out whether the person's a drinker or not? Because if they're a drinker and the liver's hurting, then you could probably make the assessment here. It's kind of like, that might be attached to the whole drinking here, but... I blame the nurse on that one, not myself. <laughs> anyway, um, we have another email from Drakar. You cannot trust your colleagues. Trust me. Alrighty, news alert. The Prime Minister has departed to attend the emergency meeting of world leaders to address the global population crisis. In this country, many public systems are straining under the pressure of a population that exploded in recent years. Healthcare is badly affected with average waiting times for appointments skyrocketing. Even with telemedicine boots able to deal with many common health issues. So... Again, there's really some interesting stuff happening over here in the background and lore. So this is already something we saw. I'm your real buddy, says Jane. Hi, Falcon. Ignore that what Armando says. I'm your real buddy. Okay, just kidding. We're both the sign. Standard practice is to give new recruits two buddies. I hope you're finding things okay so far. I'll try and help you the best I can. See ya and Jane. All right. And here's Armando. Hello, I'm your buddy. In case you're wondering, that's corporate speak for friend. Oh, that's so terrible. 
God, I hate it. I hate it when companies have you use like certain names to address each other. Like, you know, you're not a worker here. You're a partner. It's like, no, no, no. We're workers here. We're not fucking partners. Oh, I hate, I hate retail and corporate talk. Anyway, I'm here to help you learn the ropes. Dr. Theo is your manager. He's nice. He's probably told you about the facility and how they limit human contact during shift hours. Ah, well, it's not all bad. We try to get together after work. Enjoy training. Oh, and don't listen to Jane. She's a Balbino. Thanks. All right, not sure what that means. Hi, great progress so far. Now you can start using the source scanner to diagnose the diabetes, the disease diabetes. All right, cool. That's the next thing we're gonna be doing over here. And here is our unknown email. So let's go into our diagnosis guide. So for diabetes, this will be like the first real thing you have to deal with in terms of um, you scanning and finding out yourself. For diabetes, it's really easy. You check out the arm area, and if the glucose cluster is higher than the um, blood cluster over here, they got diabetes, so you gotta um, prescribe some treatment for that. So let's go into... See, if glucose cluster is higher, prescribe diabetes disease. So again, that's higher, they got diabetes. If blood cluster is higher, patient is healthy, so all you have to do is just discharge them. Let's go into seeing our patients here. Not sure if we'll be able to get to the second disease here, but you know, at least you kind of, um, we'll get to the scanning portion, which is kind of really important for the game here going forward. So we have to see four patients. Required accuracy is 50%. Ignore orange bat scan points. Scan arms to build up diabetes graph. Also diagnose lifestyle advice. So we'll give them some lifestyle advice and find out if they have diabetes or not. So let's go into seeing our first patient over here. Um, for this one, if you have like a really sensitive mouse, I would encourage you to lower the sensitivity because if you move your scanner too fast, you'll get like these little orange dots, which are, you know, bad scans. So lower the sensitivity if you have like a really hyperactive mouse, which I do, as you can probably tell over here. So this person is going to be Justin Westberg, 47 male, artist, admits to smoking heavily. So we'll definitely give them some lifestyle advice. And let's find out if they have some diabetes as well. So let's start scanning the arm. Oh yeah, I already could tell you that they're going to have diabetes as well. So over here, all you have to do is just scan whenever it's in red. If it's on yellow towards red, it's on cooldown time. So if you want to get the best scan, wait until it's in red. But yeah, this person, I can tell you right now, they have diabetes. So I'm going to go ahead and do diabetes as number two. And we're done with them, so we will discharge them. So we have now given you lifestyle advice and diabetes. So let's go ahead and finish your diagnosis with P. There you go. And that should have gone fine because we got no red alert too. Alicia Motter, 31, female, politician. She's got a good posture. <laughs> well, politician, you might have to look at a, you know, a psychiatrist on occasion just to kind of like, you know, relieve your nerves, I would say. But for the most part, she looks fine over here. Let's find out about diabetes though. Nothing in terms of the lifestyle changes here. So I'm seeing high blood clusters already. What about your regular ones? I mean, high glucose and low blood. Yeah, so you have diabetes for a fact. Diabetes will prescribe and on you go. And this will be more complicated once you have to deal with multiple diseases and also a timer. So you're not over here. I'm taking my sweet time for the purpose of the video. But once you progress in the game, it'll get more difficult. So don't think it's too easy. Believe me, it's going to be kind of difficult down the line. Uh, we have Esperanza Ipoc, game designer. 82-year-old game designer, huh? That's impressive. And she eats the occasional takeaway. Takeaway? Would that be like takeout? It's probably takeout. And, you know, Americans speak over here. Um, I don't think that's going to be a big problem if it's only occasional. You know, we all indulge in a take on an occasion. So, let's see. You have pretty high blood cluster. So you might be fine. Oh, yeah, I think you're fine. Good on you. Good on you, game designer. Scan a bit more. Yeah, you're fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, discharge you. I don't think I have to give you any lifestyle advice because you eat the occasional takeaway. It's not like you're drinking or smoking constantly. So I'm going to go ahead and discharge you. I think that should be fine. I'm sometimes a bit iffy on what's, you know, prescription or not. Like the thing that happened with the liver pain, dude. Alright, here we have Tatiana De Stefano, 49, female, social worker, quit smoking two years ago. So I don't have to tell you to stop because, you know, you already took care of that yourself. Uh, let's find out if you have any... Diabetes, though. Oh, no, I think you might be fine. I'll scan a bit more just in case we have, like, some sort of, like, rogue cluster here. But I think we should be fine. Yeah. Hey, good on you. You're fine. Discharge you. Happy living. 
Congrats on the quitting of the smoking, by the way. So, patient scene four, and our accuracy was 100% this time around. No weird liver pain nonsense. So, we're done with that one. Let me go ahead and put my mouse to be sensitive now so I can move around. There we go. Otherwise, this is how fast my mouse will move. You're like, come on. <laughs> Gotta move my arm the entire way across my pad over here. Anyway, news alert. We already read that one. Diagnosis guide. Here we go. The diagnosis guide contains lots of information on diseases. Actually, we did we read that already? I think we did. How are things? It's Jane again. Hey, just wanted to check in and see how things are. My first few days at this place were daunting. There was a lot of take in, but when I got to helping real people, making a difference in their lives, it made it so much easier. Hope it's all okay now. Oh, and try not to get frightened by the alarms of a patient complains. Mine broke on my first day and it kept going off and off until Armando fixed it for me. Um, okay. <laughs> okay or not? Um, yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Good to hear. Things are hectic here sometimes, but it's a good place to work. And again, you'll get sometimes like replies over here that you'll send it back to your colleagues. And again, all this will definitely steer where the story goes. And again, there's um, I guess I feel there's like a weird like thing going on in the background here. Priority emails. Falcon, priority emails highlighted red offer important choices that you should respond to before leaving your email screen. Priority emails will be deleted when you leave your email screen, so do not delay in answering them. Like emails, like this one, also offer limited two-way communications between employees. Make clear to make clear to intended recipients the required words or phrases. Your chat console on the right is now active. Only long-term staff can create priority and console chat emails, but anyone can reply. Enter yes, cool. The system is working correctly, management decided to Decided a limited system like this one was better than a chat solution to avoid a drop in productivity. Yeah, or people talking to each other about what's really happening over here. And we have our first test over here. You're almost ready to see the real patients, but first we want to test you. Your next scanning session will be timed. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do this one for the last one. Um, we didn't get to the point where there's an upgrade that we're going to get here pretty soon. As you progress, it'll be upgrades. So for instance, you'll get like a, the first one that I got was... Do you want to get like a, a faster scan or do you want like a faster bed? And I went with the bed because the bed kind of moves in slowly in and out to get patients in and out faster. So it gives you chances as you progress to get different upgrades for how you see individuals here. So for the most part, I think this will be mostly based on diabetes and lifestyle advice. So we'll do this one and we'll wrap it up over here. But I want to show off at least how the time feature works so you can understand that, you know, you can't necessarily take your time forever on every single patient. So we have six of them to see. Let's go for it. All right, so we have Damien Kirkland. Uh, watches four hours of TV every night. That's fine, I guess. That's your own choice. Uh, you have diabetes, I'm going to say. Come on, scan. Yeah, I think you have diabetes. So let's go with um, diabetes number two. And we'll go ahead and prescribe. There he goes. Lifestyle observation, fine. Everything's fine. He was a diplomat as well. Oh! Lifestyle and watching television's a bad thing? I'm guilty as charged then. <laughs> really? That's interesting and can... What? Really? No. Uh, this person lives with a partner. They're an, uh, a manager. Male, 36. Harlan Millwood. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. The, the lifestyle advice, that's something that I still have to get really accustomed to. Because, I, you know, watching four hours of television a night, is that a bad thing? Really? I mean, you come home from work, you're tired. All you want to do is just chill. That's what I do. Netflix and chill, it's a thing. You're fine, you don't have any diabetes, so I'm gonna go ahead and discharge you. You're telling me it's bad to live with his partner as well? That one's fine? That one's fine, yeah. I don't know, man, I enjoy a good, like, lifestyle, uh, a good Netflix and chill every night after work. I would do that every single night if I had a chance to. Uh, occupation athlete, eats occasional takeaway, female, 42, okay. So... Occasional takeaway shouldn't be a problem, but I am noting some diabetes here, so I'm going to say diabetes, prescribe, oh, no, no, diabetes and prescribe. I don't think 2P is a function. That one was fine. That one was fine. Um, you see the twitching going on, too? Later on, you'll get another disease that kind of, um, you have to be alertive to how they breathe, how they twitch around, but, you know, that's, you know, down the line. Smokes one per day. So I'm going to say lifestyle advice right off the bat. Let's find out about diabetes here. This is the traffic warden. Vaughn Stockdale. 32 male. Do you believe you got the old diabetes as well? Description. There you go. 
This should be number four coming up or five? One or the other. Crystal Holland, 75, female. CFO exercises three times a week. Not bad. Not bad. I normally do it like, you know, five times a week. I usually take the weekend off. That's kind of like my two days to just be like, you know what? I don't want to do anything. I just want to chill. Keep away from everybody. Um, so, let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm seeing something bad over here. Oh, yeah, indeed. Might have the old diabetes, so diabetes. Scribe. There you go. But yeah, there's a lot of depth to this game once you get out of the whole tutorial phase that we're kind of going through right now, so... There's a lot to really keep your eyes open about. It gets really complicated in that regard. Uh, stretches regularly. Teacher. 83 years old teacher, huh? Wow. Look at you go. Don't want to, uh, hang it up, huh? Alrighty. Oh, look at you. You might be fine with the own diabetes, too. I got no lifestyle advice for you. You stretch regularly, so there you go. We might just get one fail, yeah. The one that we missed early. Which I still call shenanigans on. You know what? If that man wants to watch four hours of television every night, it's a lot better than going out there and smoking an entire pack or drinking, like, you know, an entire bottle, you know? Four hours of television compared to the other alternative? Good on him. Falcon, okay, great. Now for any patients with diabetes, I want you to prescribe an insulin injection. Don't forget to assign this treatment before prescribing. Thanks, Dr. Theo. Over here, we have an option to go out and drinking with these individuals. We could just say yes or no. That would definitely steer how the story goes. And here's our upgrade that I talked about. Um, faster scan or faster bed, and you can choose what you want over here. But this is um, Source here in a nutshell for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us in a lot. If you are interested in the game, description below should have all the information that you do need. I will catch you next time.